Okay, we're here with another edition of Love Bucket. This is uh, Christopher Ingram. You go by Chris? Yes, Chris. Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris Ingram, Baldwin County Teacher of the Year. Uh, we got Chris's sister here, Miss Brazil, Geneva here with us, Superintendent. Uh, so we're going to get some good information. But Chris, I, I'm going to kick it to you first. And, I, and, and getting Teacher of the Year. First of all, how many years have you been teaching? Uh, tell us about what you love about it or what this means to you. Or what, you know, just kind of let everybody know, you know, you're a big piece of what we do in the community. Okay, awesome. Young people. I've actually been teaching. I've, I'm finishing my fourth year. Um, I'm going into my fifth year. I teach math and science. Uh, fifth grade, Eagle Ridge. Smart. Eagle Ridge Elementary. Math, math, science, yeah, yeah, math okay. and science. Math Pretty smart. Okay. Uh, fifth grade, Eagle Ridge Elementary. Uh, definitely being teacher of the year first. You know, I was honored to even be nominated. You know, by at my school. So how does that work? Who nominates you? Like. I, the, the, yeah, what happens is you have the staff, they vote on the teacher that they feel will best represent their school. And then once they vote, um, of course the votes are tally, and then once that comes in, the nominee is announced. And then yeah. that person nominate, that person represents that school at the so county. Every school, yeah, so there's 40 yeah. nominees or whatever the case may be when it's all said and done. Oh, or, yeah, oh, seven. Oh, okay. We only have okay. seven Okay, so just the county. Oh, gotcha, I'm sorry. Now, I'm, there's I'm only, learning. yeah, there's seven schools. Okay. And then that representative from each school then goes on to represent at the county level. And then from the county level, they choose one to represent for the county to go on to the state level. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've been involved. We've been blessed. Um, we don't normally give a love bucket, you know, it, it, it's, for, it's for charitable contributions, charitable uh, donations. Uh, however... Uh, teacher of the year, oh, there is there, there, there is there, there is no greater gift <laughs> yeah, than given to the awesome. kids. So we've done awesome. this what three years now, Miss Brazil. Yeah, yes. so awesome. so it's something we always like to make sure it's not traditional in the way we normally donate okay. resources because it's normally to some company or somebody. But I don't see how you don't help those. That, you know, teacher of the year is helping the kids. No, that's, because that's the bottom line. to be honest with you, I said I was going to use probably towards vacation, but we have a pool party schedule for. Um, so you don't even enjoy. You don't even get to enjoy so it. For, you so it'll, enough. it'll probably go towards food. We throw in the grill. Yeah. You know, definitely plan for the pool and the lifeguard. So it's definitely going to be using the capacity towards the kids. That's awesome. Some matter, yeah. Well, Miss Brazil, what do you, yep. tell, tell us about Chris? Tell us what like you know all these. You you, you have the pleasure of really interacting with with all of them. What. Pump him up a little bit. What 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 is what makes him special? Well, we have a lot of really good teachers in Baldwin County, but Chris is unique because he has that additional drive that you're always looking for in a teacher. Someone who's going to put forth um, additional effort with the children, not just during the time frame that they're within the classroom, mm -hmm. but also outside of the classroom. Because we know that the kids cannot get it all mm -hmm. in a day. And that some of our students need that extra help. And a lot of our kids that we have at Eagle Ridge in fifth grade that struggle, they go to Mr. Ingram. <laughs> and Mr. Ingram puts on, put that special touch towards yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. And one thing that's unique, and I'll just share some of the, st the statistics that his principal stated last night. Out of his four years, he's only written, up, I think, two or three students in four years to go to the front office. Wow. And in four years, Chris has only missed two days from work. He's a beast then. He is. That's what we call in the work world. Someone's doing what we call him a beast. <laughs> He's a beast. And when we do our end of the year summative assessment, which is the CRCT for elementary school, last year Chris had 100% of his students to pass mm -hmm. the test. Now, now, Chris's sister, you had said a couple of things that I thought was awesome. Tell us about, well, uh, I'll mention the fact that he has, you, you, those that are, that, are, uh, that are parents know, not every parent participates, but Chris has the persuasion power and the influence that uh, over 50% of his students' parents actually contribute, and if he needs something, they're there. That's what she stated. But tell me, that's your baby brother. Tell me, what, what are you proud about? This is mom. What are you, what are you proud that he does in, 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 with these kids? I'm just so proud of, of my brother. Number one, they, you know, people always say when there's a single parent, you know, our children fall by the wayside. Well, guess what? My brother is an exception to that because my mom was a single parent and um, she did a great job. Chris is respectful, mannerable, um, always have been. He started out kind of rocky as in elementary school, getting in trouble, but I'm just so proud of him because whatever Chris sets his mind to do, he's going to do it. And he lets nothing stop him, especially if it's something that positive. Um, not only with his students in school, but other children in the community. He's uh, a mentor to a lot of young boys in our community that maybe 
um, somebody else may, you know, just write them off. But, yeah, he does Big Brother Big Sister. He volunteers at Big Brother Big Sister. So he takes, um, I know one time he had about three boys that he spent the summer with. They went to the movies. Um, he would take them out to eat. Um, I work at Belt part-time. One student was going somewhere. He came to Belt, make sure he had what he needed. As a matter of fact, going to the fifth grade graduation. Fifth, yeah, fifth grade yeah. graduation. He brought them personally to make sure they had what they need to wear to look presentable. And yes, they came from a low-income family, but I'm just so proud and I know um, we lost our mother four years ago and at the time when we lost our mom Chris that was Chris last year in school and I know she is just smiling um, because Chris is doing great things and he um, makes a major impact hmm. on his kids yeah see I think that's that that's that's good stuff and I'm so sorry to hear about with your mother I could just I can. I know you're holding it together, and, and and for you, moms never see, never saw you actually do what you now do, which I know means a ton, a ton to you. But I'm sure, as we know, she's smiling down and, and, and enjoying that. But I, 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 what I love that you guys are saying that I, personally, is the fact that I just hear an individual that that yearns to be a change agent. You know, somebody that wants to be a difference maker, somebody that wants to leave a legacy, somebody when they're in the grave and it's done, they don't say he was a great teacher. They say that man was a great man. You know, and that that's. You know, when it's all said and done, that's really what it's about. No matter how much money you make, what you don't make, no matter who you married or didn't marry, doesn't matter how many kids you got, the bottom line is, is what are you doing with what God gave you, you know, and, that, and you seem to be on the right track, so that's awesome. Yeah, and I just appreciate you for having me. This, man, you did, no, man, you, this, congratulations this, to you. I'm yeah. still soaking it in because it's kind of like, Yeah, well, you're going to be in the newspaper, too. You got videos. You're going to be a superstar. Got okay. you on the radio. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. That's another edition of Love Bucket. Uh, we're we're privileged to be uh, with Miss Brazil and Mr. Ingram here, and uh, just just a great day. And uh, you know, great job you're doing. Yeah. Thanks again for having. Me. You're very welcome.